Of course, before Tim was my on-air partner, he was Tom's partner. Let's just say Tom Brokaw knew Tim better than most. He is in our studios in New York tonight. And, partner, it's your microphone. How are you choosing to remember your friend? Well, it still seems very surreal to me, but I have been flooded with so many memories. And, of course, primary among them is that Tim's whole persona was formed by those working-class roots in South Buffalo, New York, his relationship with his dad, his Roman Catholic faith. He believed in accountability. He believed in accountability as a citizen and as a journalist. He was also formed so much by Daniel Patrick Moynihan, who discovered him when he was just 26 or 27 years of age and showed him the other side of politics, from the inside out, if, as it were. That's when I first met Tim, when he was working Capitol Hill. So when he came to our side of the business, he knew how to handle people and how to hold them accountable for what they had said and how they had voted. He used his Jesuit education and his law degree to great, great effect, obviously, as a journalist. And when he took over Meet the Press, I, I think it's fair to say, Brian, that he raised the whole level of Sunday morning. He was the undisputed champion of the ratings, obviously, but Sunday morning now on all the networks is the place that everyone feels they must be to find out what has happened in the week before and what is likely to happen. And then finally about Tim, he was so competitive. He had that great Irish-American streak that we often laughed about. If someone crossed him, he didn't forgive and he never forgot and he stayed atop his profession. And of course, we'll never forget him either. Ryan. Tom, people tend to forget he was a lawyer, and that's exactly how he laid out his questioning and his arguments on those Sunday mornings. He did indeed, and uh, so many of my very best friends who are lawyers and great courtroom performers, shortly after Tim began, called me up and said, does he have a law degree? because he could give a heck of a deposition, or I'd hate to face him on cross. And it actually helped him, he later explained to me, when he was a witness in the Scooter Libby case. He was really uh, the big witness in that case because Libby began to get in trouble with that phone call to Tim. And when people thought that Tim was stalling on the witness stand, he said, I knew what that warrior was up to, and I'd ask him to repeat the question so I could clarify my own answers. And he did just that. And the sad thing is tonight, of course, in so many levels, is that we lost him this week when he took his beloved son Luke to gra as a graduation present to Italy and just moved Big Russ into another facility in Boston so he would be more comfortable. And Sunday is Father's Day, all the more reason to remember it. Ryan. Tom, thanks. Tom Brokaw in our newsroom in New York.